Hi, right, SQA, higher maths, 2022 paper one question 13, part A, show that x plus 2 is a factor of x cubed minus 2x squared minus 20x take away 24, part 2, then solve f of x equals 0, and then it shows you a graph of f of x, and it tells you that f of x minus k is k greater than 0, has a station point at 1, 0, you can state the value of k, we'll get to that in a bit, but let's start dealing with our shown factor of a cubic. So, x plus 2 is a factor, there's two ways to do this, we could just substitute minus 2 into it, or we can use synthetic division with minus 2, whichever one you prefer. I will do the most common way that most people do it, which is synthetic division, so a reminder of how that works. We put minus 2 on the outside, and then the coefficients of our function, so 1x cubed minus 2x squared minus 20x minus 24. 1 just drops straight down, and we've got 1 times minus 2, which is minus 2, adding them together to get minus 4, minus 4 times 2 is 8, adding them together to get minus 12, minus 12 times minus 2 is 24, adding them together to get 0. And we get a mark at that point for using minus 2 in the synthetic division, so there's a mark. Let's move on to our second mark. So we need to complete the division and interpret the result. So we've completed the division, but we're not actually saying anything. We now need to say that since the remainder equals zero, that input therefore x plus two is a factor of f of x. And that gives us our second mark there for completing the division and also making our statement. If you had done it the other way by substituting minus 2 indirectly, then you would still get an answer of 0, but you would say that since f of minus 2 equals 0, x plus 2 is a factor. So it's the same way. Okay, let's move on to part 2. Hence or otherwise solve f of x equal to 0. Now, if you, this is where the power of synthetic division comes in. If you've already done synthetic division for part A, you already know this. If you haven't done it for part A, then you're going to have to divide through. But let's just assume that we're doing it this way. So for part 2, we have got this whole bit, x squared minus 4x minus 12, is our factor. So we now know that x plus 2 is a factor, so f of x equals x plus 2 times x squared minus 4x minus 12. And obviously, like I said in part 1, if you had just substituted minus 2n, then you'd either have to do synthetic division at this stage, or alternatively, if you do polynomial division, if you know how to do that, you can do it that way. But assuming we've done this, we've got the quadratic factor, so we get a mark for stating this point here. That's our third mark. Then we need to solve it, so we make it equal to 0. So we've got x plus 2, x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals 0. That's just staying where it is because we've already done that, but we need to factorise our quadratic. So we've got x and x, two numbers at times to make 12, but add or take away to make 4, it must be 6 and 2. And since our final result is negative, then one of them is negative and one is positive, just getting them right the right way around. We've got minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4, so that equals 0. If we get to that point, we get our two brackets, we get another mark there. Or alternatively, if you forgot how to factorise or couldn't do the factorising, if you had substituted into the quadratic formula correctly, which would be 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 squared, take away 4 times 1 times minus 12, all over 2 times 1, you would get a mark instead for that. And then your final mark is just for working that out to get your factors. So we've now got x plus 2 equals 0, or x plus 2 equals 0, or x minus 6 equals 0. So x equals minus 2, or x equals minus 2, or x equals 6. So we get our final solution of minus 2 and 6 for our other remaining factors, because it was, hence it otherwise solve f of x equals 0. We've already got 1, 
So our other one for getting minus 2 and 6. And since it's a repeated factor, we could just say that x equals minus 2 or x equals 6, just to be clear. Minus 2 and 6 give you your final answer. Mark. The graph of f of x minus k has a stationary point at 1, 0. State the value of k. We know that this must be minus 2 because it's crossing the axis there. And this must be 6. Now, if this has a stationary point at 1, 0, that means that this must have shifted along to the number 1. So there's 1 there. It's shifted to the right by 3. And therefore, since it's shifted to the right by 3, k equals 3 because it's x minus k. So it's x minus 3. So k is 3. And we get a mark just for working that out. So there's our final mark for this question.